everybody, welcome back to the Crypto Realm. So we're going to talk about the SEC's Hester Pierce, who I think is pretty cool and has a good head on her shoulders and is somebody who's good for the crypto space. And we're going to hear what she talks about. She says here too, which caught me, like this is how she talks and how Gary Gensler talks is such a different thing. Gary Gensler's like, come on in, talk to us. Then boom, he seizes your assets, tries to throw you in jail. This dude is nuts, right? But her, she's like, I urge people. The reach of the securities laws is very broad, she said. If you have any doubt, even if you don't have any doubt, it's good to think about calling a lawyer. See that? That's guidance. You know what I mean? And even that's going to be hard because there's no real regulation or guidance in the crypto space just yet. And Gary Gensler's the snake in the grass. You know what I mean? He'll say, come in, come in, talk to us. And then he'll end up taking everything you got. SEC has done it before. It happened to Reggie Middleton, who created Veritasium. He had 100 million tokens, 98 million got seized, 2 million are, are on the open market. And this dude has a patent for DeFi, apparently, from the United States, just recently got it. And he has a patent from Japan for DeFi, just recently got it. So this dude is suing Coinbase right now for DeFi patent infringement. And that just about means every other centralized exchange as well he's suing them well not he's not doing that right now to all of them but if he wins against one he's going to win against every single one that's a fact so reggie Milton, i hope he does win because we need to get rid of these centralized entities but it's just a strange thing that this guy has a patent for DeFi, but the government stole all his freaking 98 million tokens which were for the people he had an ICO, but nobody really bought it all, so he just hanged on to it. So it's not like he, like, hoarded it. It wasn't him hoarding it. But I, I look into that. Veritasium, Reg, Reggie Middleton, the SEC, and Coinbase, what's going on right now? It's pretty interesting. So let's get into the article here about uh, Hester Pierce. Oh, SECs. Hester Pierce has seen no real movement on SEC crypto regulations since she, since she joined in 2018. Like, that's just horrible. SEC Commissioner Hester Pierce has a lot of optimism about crypto and hopes not to see hasty reactionary regulations in the wake of FTX. Let's hope not. Just keep cool heads and see what happens. If the focus of the crypto industry is still on trading crypto assets it's a sign that the industry hasn't lived up to its potential according to securities and exchange commissioner hester pierce I often feels she's on an island by myself within the sec I view these things differently than some of my colleagues have viewed them she says that's good you know because she has an open mind that's an understatement while sec chair gary gensler has made it very clear that he views most crypto assets as securities in need of SEC registration faster, and has painted the, the industry as a wild west. Pierce, one of five commissioners at the US banking regulator, has long been openly pro crypto. Through, in her framing, I'm more pro the ability of people to try things and experiment with things. And I think there's been a lot of interesting experimentation in, in the crypto space. And I expect there'll be a lot more in coming years. Pierce spoke to Decrypt. <sighs> Last week, for the latest episode of the GM podcast, she prefaced her comments, as she always does, by saying they are her own and do not represent the views of the SEC. Pierce was initially nominated to serve as an SEC commissioner by President Barack Obama in 2016, but the Senate did not act on her nomination until 2017. She's currently serving a five-year term, which is set to expire in 2025. Because I've been at the SEC since 2018 and see no real movement, positive movement, in that time, it's frustrating. Yeah, I could imagine. She said uh, she first heard about Bitcoin around 2012 and has been learning about the broader crypto ecosystem ever since. But her interests are broader than that, she said, adding that her optimism around the industry has more to do with her desire to change the SEC's approach to innovative new financial products, crypto and otherwise. Damn. It's wanting to keep the doors open to innovation, wanting to make sure that the financial industry is not one that's dominated by a few large firms that keeps everyone else out. Because there's a lot of people with great ideas, and I think it's great that people are challenging the way we've done things, she said. That's good. That's the kind of leader you need. 
So the FTX effect, damn, man, this FTX is getting old. At the time of Pierce's interview last week, former FTX CEO Sam Bakeman fried hadn't yet been arrested in the Bahamas, and the SEC hadn't yet charged him for allegedly defrauding equity investors in the company. Since Monday night, the Department of Justice has also levied charges, alleging he committed conspiracy, wire fraud, and money laundering, and the CFTC plans a lawsuit for commodities law violations. Cracks in the foundation of FTX started to show in early November when a report revealed that the crypto exchange's sister company, Alameda Research, held billions in illiquid FTT bam, on its balance sheet. A subsequent tweet from Binance CEO CZ referencing those re relevations triggered massive withdrawals from FTX. After a few days, FTX had to freeze funds. The company sought buyouts first from Binance, but ultimately, filed for bankruptcy on November 11th. Last week, Pierce said she'd been telling people that everything Bankman Freed came to represent is not, in her view, the extent of the crypto industry's potential. When I talk to people, I remind people, one, that crypto is not about centralized entities. Two, that crypto is not about trading either, Pierce said. Although there's been a lot of emphasis on trading in the last several years, that is not the core of what crypto is. And if it is the core, it's probably not living up to its potential. And three, it is still early days, so we do have more to see. Now that Bankman Freed has been arrested and charged by multiple entities, Pierce's warning about regulatory frameworks born out of reactions to the FTX blow up is especially prescient. What she hopes not to see, she said, is another big legisl legislative push that happens before thorough analysis has been done, like after the 2008 global financial crisis. I think we should all be on the lookout for regulatory frameworks that are developed in the context of enforcement action, because it's a very tempting thing for regulators to do that, she said, and it just cuts everybody else out of the process. She recalled that the 2008 recession was the catalyst for a lot of new regulations. The biggest and most sweeping measure was the Dodd-Frank Wall Street Reform and Consumer Protection Act, which itself paved the way for the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Financial Stability Oversight Council, Council, and the Volcker Rule to Curtail Speculative Investments. It's telling that the DOJ itself has compared the FTX collapse to Lehman Brothers. While Pierce said she has been vocal in not wanting to see a big wave of reactionary regulation, she recommends that companies in the crypto industry proceed with caution. Here's that comment we saw from her at the beginning. I urge people. The reach of the securities laws is very broad, she said. If you have any doubt, even if you don't have any doubt, it's good to think about calling a lawyer. So that's the difference with her and Gary Gensler. You know what? She's a forward thinker. Gary Gensler is more like, I want it all now. Too bad for you. Too bad for, like, innovation. <laughs> Man, this Gary Gensler. I think there's going to be a lot of things coming out about how he's handling a lot of things, and he could be doing things not the right way my opinion and he's going to get a lot of flack for that especially from like congress or whatever senate when they start looking into things like that i don't like we need the government to look into the proceedings of like how the sec is run and what their jurisdiction is we need like some proper oversight of the regulators is what i'm trying to say because these people are just kind of running amok and it's stifling the whole entire crypto industry we need to like get past that crap and then we can break down some barriers. But for now, take everything you got, put it into Bitcoin in your own wallet, get it off centralized exchanges, get it out of banks, get it out of the stock market. Because honestly, right now, they own you. That's all in your wallet. They have nothing. They can't say diddly squat. They can't make a move. This is the crypto realm. Play hard, trade smart. Mm -hmm.